Excellent. What's up guys, Paul here and I'm doing a quick vlog video. Uh, the reason for that is because I have some not so fantastic news about the Arctic Panther. <laughs> if you guys follow me on uh, my social medias, my, my Twitters and my Instagrams, you might have seen me posting yesterday on Friday a fair amount of work in progress on the side panel mod. However, I came to a, kind of a, 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 a wall, I hit a stopping point and uh, I really just couldn't complete that video. So instead of sharing that video with you guys right now, instead, here's a bunch of corgis on the beach. Alright guys, I want to give you a little bit more than, than just some corgis, although they're incredibly cute uh, for today's video. So here at least is a look at the side panel mod in progress, and I'll give you an explanation of kind of where I got to. As you might be able to tell, I don't know how well it's picking up, the hole is cut. It's roughly the proper size, um, but there was just, there were there's blemishes, there's mistakes that were made. Uh, there's, there's a pretty nasty one for instance. This was as I was doing some of the filing down of the side edges to get them straight and clean, uh, and I, I, I slipped. That's really what it came down to. The prote protection wasn't there anymore, so it didn't turn out looking so great. There's a couple more along here. And then you can see this actual edge of the mod itself, which is smooth in some places, less smooth in others. I was kind of hoping to be able to, to go ahead without any sort of covering on this. I was either gonna black pen it, or maybe even hopefully just have done a good enough job on this that I I didn't have to worry about anything <laughs> like like the edge and, and how it turned out, but I can run down to you guys at least what my issues were. One was that I'm I'm somewhat uh, unskilled with the jigsaw so far. I've used a jigsaw before, but this is a brand new one, and I, I didn't practice at all. I just went straight for it, which might not have been the best decision. As a result, I cut into the top edge a little bit more, so this goes up a little bit. I, I put another kind of... I delved too deeply on the on the bottom edge as well down here, so that's not quite as straight as it should be. Um, two of the edges came out pretty decent, two of the edges uh, were not. Uh, that coupled with the scuffs that I put in it, and in fact the one probably worst scuff is down here. Yeah, that one right there. And um, when you get something like that and it won't buff out, there's like, there's options you have, but I don't have very many of them. so. If you're going to repaint, you kind of need to repaint the whole side panel. I don't have paint set up right now. Uh, I don't know what else to do other than maybe getting a new side panel and kind of starting over and using some of what I've learned so far to expand on that. But um, yeah, that's really what it's come down to. The, this, the crappy thing is that it was going really well up till towards the end when I made those kind of crucial mistakes. And then when I was looking at my side panel, my piece of glass right here that my phone is on, uh, which costs about 80 bucks, and, I, and since I'm gluing it, this is going to be kind of a one-shot deal. I just came to the conclusion that, you know what, I'm not ready yet. I don't want to glue this piece on yet. And um, as a result, I don't have a video. But it, I, would, I, didn't, I didn't want to do like a two-parter, because, you know, everyone's already sick of those, <laughs> at least when they're not known that it's going to be a two-parter ahead of time. So I'm gonna try to, to work out what I should do next on this. I'd love to hear your guys' feedback um, for what you think I should do. Again, the options are gonna be either get some channeling material to go around the edges. Um, MNPC ta Tech has some of that. I think they call it the U-Channel. So I might do something to that. Another option would be to try to, to salvage this piece here to, I don't know. I, I don't know how I might salvage it. I might have to end up like doing a full repaint job. Uh, or the other option is just to uh, try to hit up Fractal and see if I can purchase another side panel by itself and kind of start from scratch and do a bit of a do-over. But let me know what you guys think I should do, because um, for now I'm kind of at a stopping point. Apart from that though, it's really just the cables, uh, the cable sleeving job, which I'm hoping should arrive this week, the sleeving stuff. I'm finally going to get rid of that mess of, of multicolored cables up at the front. 
and that'll that'll do it. So yeah. But there is Ar Arctic Panther thus far, still incomplete. And to round out this video, I've decided to get incredibly pissed off at all of my video production equipment. But hey, that's how it goes. Apparently there's some kind of conspiracy to prevent me from publishing a video this weekend. But I'm not going to let that stop me. No, I have reached out to you guys on Twitter and asked for random questions that I might be able to answer here. So uh, let's see how this goes. Catman at Playful1510 asks, what is your favorite cheese? Gotta go with the Brie 86. Uh, Francisco Felipe, or frank for life asks, go to brand for SSDs. Uh, it used to be, I would say, like, Samsung was a, was a really good recommendation. Their 840 Evo fiasco, which kind of was not, didn't leave a lot of us in the SSD review side very ecstatic about them. Um, kind of set it back a little bit, although the 850 and 850, the 850 Pro and 850 Evo seem to be doing okay so far. Uh, but Samsung's a good one. Um, Intel's definitely good. They, they always have really high reliability for their, their drives. They're not always the fastest. Um, Kingston's another one that I like to, to use. Uh, Corsair has done some great jobs. Uh, the Neutron XT was a fantastic drive. Um, SanDisk is another one. Uh, San, like SanDisk and, and Samsung, for example, they have like that vertical integration going on. They actually, well, Samsung at least ma manufactures every single part of the SSD, so that's always kind of nice when you can go for that. Um, but yeah, those, those I'd say those are the ones that kind of jump out at me. And if I'm missing any top ones, I'm sorry about that. Um, what else do we have? Uh, Alan, Alan150003 asks, what is it like doing YouTube for a living? Thank Your content is great. I appreciate you putting so much work into it, by the way. Thank you, Alan, so much. That means a lot to me, especially right now, because I'm having a frustrating day. But it's okay. Uh, it's great doing YouTube for a living. It's a lot more work than you might expect it to be. I actually work a lot harder now than I do when I was working for somebody else, because I'm working for me, um, which is good in some ways, because it lets me get a lot done. It's bad in other ways, because sometimes I tend to work too long, or work into the evenings, or work on the weekends, case in point. Saturday right now and I'm supposed to be spending time with my wife, but that's okay. Um, ultimately, I'm really happy with the decision uh, and I just hope that YouTube keeps things going in a good and positive way for its creators to keep us able to do stuff like this for those of us who, who have made the dive into doing it full time. Uh, how does it feel to have my glass of beer spilled? This is from Max Revson or at Max Revson. Uh, I felt betrayed, a little sad, a little, I was, I was, I was obviously distraught over the loss of beer. Kyle's laptop, and I was thinking, eh, whatever, but, um, yeah, that was sad, it was sad that that beer, you know, was, was wasted in such a way. Uh, Ian Savage, or at Snowblind Board E, asks why I did not go to Coachella with Forever Kyle and Steve, or with Kyle and Steve. Um, I didn't go because I like to be able to, like, shower at the end of the day. I don't know, I, I haven't been a, I haven't done, like, well, I really haven't been to any major music festivals before. Um, Coachella has some appeal for me, but like, I don't know, the camping thing that they're doing, I like camping, but I don't like camping with like hordes and hordes of hippies that, you know, like, I don't know, there's just something less appealing. I like camping in the woods, like away from people, not where there's crowds and like people having to find places to use the bathroom and all that kind of thing. Uh, Haiti Cat, or at Haiti Cat, H-A-T-Y-C-A-T-T, -T, asks, why did we name it Awesome Hardware when I could have when we could have named it Paul Sauce? Tried to go for Paul Sauce. Kyle wouldn't go for it. Um, AJSA underscore G Rod asks, How does it feel to have a an Arctic Panther in the house? It feels great. I wish I could I wish I had gotten more done on it this this uh, week than I had done. Um, oh Jenny, Jenny. Jenny asked a question. Wait, she asked a question and now she's talking about something else. And I don't know. Uh uh Jenny uh Jennifer uh, at Gearhead Girl 27 asks, what are three absolutely necessary things to check or set in your system when you're benchmarking? Uh, well, the first thing you want to check or set is to make sure everything is up to date. That includes drivers for one thing, but that also includes all of your benchmarking software. I always like to make sure that everything like CPU-Z or GPU-Z uh, or anything like that is up to date. Um, the next thing is to make sure that you have nothing, nothing, nothing running except for the benchmarks you're running. That's if you want to do like a, a good benchmark and give it the best possible chances. Uh, I like to unplug the internet too when I'm running stuff, although I don't always do that now. I used to do that more frequently than I do now, I guess. Um, and then, what else? Was that three things yet? I don't know if that was three things yet. 
that's roughly three things. I hope that helps. Uh, Kyle Johnston, or Geek in Dad, asks, How am I liking the new 4K camera? I'm using it to record right now, albeit in 1080. I'm liking it a lot, although I got really frustrated with it just now because the stupid camera app that I'm using to monitor myself on my phone, which just doesn't like to remember the settings and the connection. It's kind of annoying. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. I did finally get it to work, but I was getting pissed off at it prior to that. Um, I'll do one more. Michael Garza, or at mgarza676767, asks, How often should I upgrade my computer? When is it time to get a whole new computer? That's a very subjective question, and it depends on kind of what you're doing with it. If all you need is a computer for basic internet access and that sort of thing, you probably don't need to upgrade it ever again. No, I shouldn't say that. But you can use, like, you know, cell phones, tablets, that sort of thing for the internet. Um, if you're a gamer, you probably want to look at upgrading, I'd say, every two-ish years um, to, to upgrade at least your graphics card and maybe the actual base platform. Um, maybe three to four years for your base platform, like CPU, memory, motherboard is probably a, a bit better solution. Or, you know, if you're hardcore, if you're an enthusiast, and if you're just really into it, then, you know, you can upgrade every year if you want to do a new system. That's always fun. Okay, though, um, that's up for my little little metal key impromptu Q&A session. Thanks to all you guys on Twitter who asked me questions. I'm sorry to any of you guys who I didn't get to, but um, this has already gone longer than I was intending it to. Um, but thanks for watching this video, guys. I almost spilled my water. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, do all the fun things down in the comment section. Hopefully I will be back very soon this week, not only with updates on Arctic Panther, but also um, with more videos as well. This week has not been a good week production-wise for me, but Hey, that's how it goes. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, though, guys, and we'll see you all in the next video.